Hey everyone, today I'm showing you how to make this lovely Christmas wreath. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks. First of all, open out the branches of your wreath. So just work around and open them all out. You want it to look nice and full. I've got this lovely gold mesh ribbon, two and a half inches wide, just pinching it at the end. And then I'm going to find two pieces of the pine branch and just tuck the end in there and lock it in place by twisting these two pine branches around the ribbon. Every so often I'm going to loop it, pinch it together, just find a couple of those branches, twist together and just loop the ribbon around the wreath in a very loose, free-flowing, organic kind of way. This ribbon does have a right side and a wrong side, so we need the right side showing. And I'm not measuring the loops, I'm just eyeballing My approach to tying on the picks is a little unorthodox because I like to use these twisting balloons. These are 160s, but you can use 260s just as well. And I like to wrap them, they work like a rubber band. So I like to wrap them around the pick and then tie it on. And I, I always have these hanging around this, this place um, because of my other activities. and. Uh, and so they make a nice alternative to uh, using a chenille stem. You can use green wire, you can use chenille stems, but I like these because I can really pull the um, pick into the display. So I'm just gonna tuck that um, stem through here and a bit of twisting balloon. I'm going to put one strand, one strap either side of the frame and then on the other side you can just tie it on and make sure you tie twice okay you can just cut these away these ends away I'll leave a link to how to make this lovely large ruffle bow in the description below. And again, I'm using a balloon to, a twisting balloon to tie this onto the frame. You can use wire, green wire, you can use um, a chenille stem, whatever you prefer. And I'm just wrapping, tying the balloon underneath the frame and then tying those two ends together. And with the twisting balloons, it's important you tie two knots. Then we can just adjust our bow. When I stood back from the wreath, I did decide to add two more holly picks. So there are a total of five Christmas picks added to this wreath. 